Greetings and welcome to R. Kelly Appeal TV, where we discuss the important topics of the infamous case of a conspiracy against Robert Sylvester Kelly. Today, I want to let you know that many of the motions that attorney Jennifer Bonjean are filing is showing that corruption within arrest, charges, and convictions were an outright plan for the government to convict and put away the R&B king, R. Kelly. But as we are seeing, no weapon formed can prosper to those with negative agendas. So let's look at how motions are working in the criminal justice system within the Robert Sylvester Kelly case. Number one, what are motions? A motion is an application or tool that the court made by the prosecutor or defense attorney requesting that the court decide on a certain issue before a trial begins. The motion can affect the trial, the courtroom defendants, it can um, be evidence or testimony. Now, according to the Bar American Bar Association, in the case of Robert Sylvester Kelly, motions have been filed throughout the convictions, and many of them have been struck down due to the powers of the courts that refuse to allow his trial to be fair. What are your thoughts there? Because from the very beginning, with the closed courtroom, the criminal justice system has not been too just to R. Kelly. You look at evidence being tainted by those who accused him of these heinous crimes. Confidentiality has been breached within the Bureau of Prisons where administration were taking advantage of information, sharing it illegally through his emails and phone conferences, according to the motion that Attorney Bonjean set forth about four days ago, five days ago, and selling information to YouTubers for receipts so that the information would be leaked out to society before anyone would know any different. So the matters of public opinion has always tainted this case in so many other ways. But back to how motions are working on behalf of Robert Sylvester Kelly. What is the most common motion that can be filed in a criminal justice case such as the historical R. Kelly case of 2019. Some of the most common motions include the following. Summary judgments, meaning the facts of the case are not in dispute so that the court orders a judgment without a full trial. This does not pertain to R. Kelly due to the fact that he had a full trial that was closed to the public. The only individuals that were allowed to be in that trial were the liars, manipulators, and those who were within the movement to take him down and lessen his credibility. What are your thoughts there? This stunt was graceful and straight out ludicrous. The amount that a person makes to the criminal justice system in one year in the Bureau of Brooklyn Federal Prison is $69,000, which 68% of that money that is supposed to be there to support the inmate, it goes to institutional wages. Not to the inmate for personal care or basic needs. The other motion that can be filed within a case such as R. Kelly's is a motion to dismiss. This motion is rebutted on the books that share information that the case should be dismissed because of the lack of jurisdiction, evidence, settlement before trial, or other reasons. Should the motion be rebutted? Number two, there are three most three most common post-trial motions that a, attorney Bonjean can use in a motion for Robert Sylvester Kelly. And they are as follows, according to a family attorney at law within the New York jurisdiction, the three most common post 
trial motions that attorney Bonjean can use on behalf of Robert Sylvester Kelly is A, a motion for a new trial. Generally, a court will grant a new trial under these conditions. The abuse of discretion by the court, which prevented a fair trial, which I do believe that R. Kelly's case does fall under. I do believe that um, all of his motions have been denied. And a motion is a tool that is used to relate and understand what's going on within the case so that the judge will know that other information is going to be coming forth or being allowed. Can it be allowed in the system? Um, another way for a new trial is when some accident or surprise that the parties had no reason to expect, such as the lies from the docuseries that are no longer even aired, the 25-year-old case that created a double jeopardy situation, bringing up the dead to appear in court, it seems grandiose and ridiculous. Aaliyah should not have been part of this situation because that was taken care of in 2008. The list goes on and on. Newly discovered evidence, which has a probable chance of changing the outcome of the trial, such as the lies that are not adding up. These are changes that have now come forth that these individuals were saying that they lied, they perjured themselves. This channel does research on interviews that can introduce what was perjured on the stand to prevent a fair discovery of information on R. Kelly's behalf. You can go back and look at the videos. They're all there. And we talk about the disability. We talk about the appeal. We talk about the things that make this case so insufficient with evidence to justify the court's decision or the court's decision violating the law. The moving party, which is the defense, may have to attach declarations or exhibits in support of its motion. This is why the sentencing can't go forth right now. Because too many people are watching this trial or this case, watching the appeals that are the motions that are being filed, seeing what the rebuttal is on behalf of the court system. Too many people are watching what we couldn't see in the courtroom. So Judge Donnelly will then have a hearing, the conference call that took place on May 10th, um, that was public and horrific and all this other stuff to throw back what should be accepted or denied. But the judge has to describe in writing its reasons for granting that motion. Why did you deny it, Donnelly? And why was everything so public at that point? And what was said, I wish I could have been there because what was said was the most significant points of what was going to happen next, what next wrench they were going to throw into the scenario. But the judge has to describe in writing his reasons for granting that motion or denying that motion, which we're still waiting on. This is why, like I said, a new trial, if a new trial is granted, then it is as if the previous trial never occurred. How can that be with everybody uh, stepped forward prior to the, the uh, hearing, the trial, and they had a public, what is known as a public opinion? This happened in retaliation to R. Kelly's case. The parties must re- litigate. They must have another conversation about the issues or issues per the court's order. So the order must come forth in request of what Bonjean is asking. So he has a chance, according to the law, that went against his fair trial hearing. He absolutely does. And some of these motions are going, one of these motions that are going to unclog the system is to get this thing flowing again is going to come and they just don't realize how it's going to come because the universe is working this thing out and the lies that were told is coming to fruition 
and it's time to pay the piper. B, a motion to vacate. Attorney Bonjean must show the court that the judge conflicted with the convictions in the case of Robert Sylvester Kelly, meaning that the statement of decision sets for the reason why the court ruled the way that it did. Why are you continually denying these cases? Is it just because you're taking the words of the liars and the manipulators and the people who came many, many years ago and who took advantage of this man and making their truth greater than the defendant's truth. The statement of decision sets for the reasons why the court ruled the way they did to make sure that no area of law has overlapped with Enrico Mann, child pornography, and in Chicago, any of those other counts that have gone forth. So, the Me Too movement, the docu-series, making sure things are not overlapping. To vacate and enter a different judgment, there must be some conflict between the reason for the court's decision and the judgment. And it absolutely was, which is what Donnelly has shown several times, the negative vibe against Robert Sylvester Kelly by striking down each and every motion that has been filed on his behalf, a great area for him to yet appeal if it can't be vacated. C, motion to set aside means that the moving party, which is the defense in this case, should be relieved of an order, dismissal, or judgment because some mistake or excusable neglect has taken place. And wouldn't you believe that some excusable neglect has taken place from the very first attorney and how all the other attorneys in the past had just walked away, even though he fired them. And then they left a lot of information that was kind of curious. Like, why would you say that now, because you're leaving his case, you feel that he has some type of sexual addiction, mental addiction, um, or, or mental case issue, you know, so excusable neglect. This motion is good when moving, when, when the defense misunderstands the facts of the case, his disability and his dyslexia helped him in this case right here to motion to set aside because the legal consequences of his or her actions, he was unaware of at the time, right? Signing things and paying people off. How do we know that he paid them off? How do we know that the, the document wasn't already set up? Because a lot of people were around him that were setting him up. And once he got into it, you know, he's only thinking from the streets. He's thinking the street way, but you have professionals that's overruling and overriding every next step that he could even think about. So this motion is good when moving party, when the moving party misunderstands the facts of the case or the legal consequences of his or her actions are greater than what is here, what is evidenced. A set aside motion may also be granted if the other party intentionally conceals or destroys evidence in a way that harms the movement of the case. The docu-series is no longer in service the licensing has been revoked. So that definitely means something has been taken away. We can't go back and use those unless we recorded them. We don't remember what Azriel Clary said, every word she said in the testimony, what Geronda Pace said, what Lisa Van Allen said. I tried to put as many of those cases on this channel um, when it was out there. However, I didn't get to the Gardner case. I didn't get to the um, uh, Azrael parents or any of that. All that's lacking right now in this, this uh, channel. So I will be getting onto that soon. But a set aside motion may also be granted if the other party intentionally conceals, destroys evidence in a way that harms the movement of the case. 
Now comes the Northern District case with Daryl McDavid and June Brown. This set aside motion can be used in this instance due to the fact that R. Kelly had no idea what was taking place within the area of his employees. So attorney Bonjean is using the only tool that can benefit her client when every other door within the criminal justice system has been closed on behalf of Robert Kelly, just like when he first got in to the, to his career in the nineties, every door was getting shut for a reason. You know, um, but he never let that stop him from not being able to get out on bail to the court hearing that refused to return funds to the woman who put up her house for bail for him in the beginning. And then they revoked it and wouldn't give her her money back and not allowing him to move forward with helping his own case due to the disability health issues that happened when he was incarcerated, the pandemic. And now we can even talk about the war in Ukraine that is still happening. Now, as a researcher, I don't know how this fits at this moment in time. I'm just doing the research and putting it on the channel um, of what's really going on in the world today. While all this chaos is happening to the king of R&B, there's always a reason for everything as it goes down. So there you have some hopeful points a view that you can rest on until they finally decide what they're going to do within the system of justice. See, I don't jump every time a motion is filed and put it on the channel because things change. It's just like tort law. Today, something can be a law and three days later, it can be old law, you know, and have what is known as a precedence that oversees that law or supersedes that law. So I don't jump at every change that takes place. So you'll never get the most uh, minute current detail here on this channel, but what you will get is the definite truth. Um, and I don't like the changes of what I speak. When I speak things into existence, I don't like them moved around. So I'm not going to be telling you things that, you know, this motion file came out, that motion file came out. I'm going to get the specific motion file that I feel fits perfectly to the appeal. Because if there is an appeal, which will probably happen because no one's budging, but yet the courts are doing their thing because there is a discrepancy in the sentencing of the New York case. So something has came in and rebutted what was suggested and the sentencing is not going down as planned for the prosecution. So mm -mm -mm. wow, there's hope until they finally decide what they're going to do within the system of justice. Remember the quote that when you lie, your chickens come home to roost in your own backyard. Let's look at all the laws that are being uh, granted at this moment in time. Okay. Let's not just look at the R. Kelly case. I can't look at Hollywood in general because that's too broad. I need to keep my focus specifically on what I'm looking at and compare and contrast it to what is happening in real life around me here. What type of things are coming forward? What's going on in the school system, in the educational system? Um, what laws are being passed in um, the human rights section? You know? How many people, there are people that are also conspiring to do cr criminal activity just to get into the New York uh, institution, just so they can say that they were incarcerated with Robert Sylvester Kelly. Is this another ploy? Is this another ploy to the system to keep people incarcerated? I mean, let's look at this thing. But this is a great eye opener for me. And I hope it has helped you kind of narrow things down and understand what's going on when it comes to all these people sharing the words on the motions and all this. If you don't know what a motion is, you don't know how powerful that tool is and impactful to the words that is packed inside of that tool 
as a weapon to use against the system to incarcerate and and do unfairly and unjust laws to individuals in America. When tyranny begins, well, there's a quote that is on our, we have to do it in our criminal justice class. And I don't know, I can't remember it. That's been 30 years ago. But it says when justice ends, tyranny begins. So if, unless we continue to stay just in this motions and in the trial process and not just, you know, saying that these, these people are really doing wrong in the criminal justice system. And we see it, we see it, we see the unjust relationship within um, wardens and superintendents and supers and, you know, uh, inmates, you know. So Bon Jean is using the motion to set Kelly free. And it's so sad that the system has to go within, but without the documentation and without the uh, document and writing, putting things in writing, no one will ever know what the future is going to hold because there's something within that writing that is going to supersede what has been lied upon. So this is an eye opener. I think this is a great time for Kelly Nation supporters and fans to realize that the universe is infinite and no man can hold any man down. Believe R. Kelly can fly. Know he can fly. Know that he he can do miraculous things with the power within him from the source of his own understanding. Okay? His own understanding. And um, just keep knowing <clears throat> that all will go as it should. And we will be seeing R. Kelly in the very, very near future. Because justice has to prevail. Justice has to prevail. And that man is innocent. That man is innocent. As I read the motion the uh, yesterday. I have to say to you that I put that in there because I have to, I have to document McDavid and Brown and what they're saying, because this is what he's facing in the Northern district. And it's important for us to pay attention to that so that we can then give suggestions on rebuttal. We know that those videos showed in 2008 that they couldn't even they couldn't even tell his identity. Yeah, it may look like him. Some people who said that they knew him. It was him? Ah, no. How about face recognition? We have that now. Can't we go to the video and recognize a face? Can't we do that? What else can we do here as Kelly Nation supporters? to share with society that the things that they're doing to our black men and our black young men and children are not going to prevail. These laws, when it comes to, um, to criminal activity that we cannot justify and nobody needs to stay in prison for years and years and years before someone realizes that they've made a mistake and should have created a motion to vacate or created a new trial. The ego is what's driving a lot of this right now. And that's the reason why I did this research analysis here, because there is so much that we need to know so much that we need to know about the criminal justice system. And if you, ignorance is not a defense, you see, it's a very cutthroat world in the criminal justice field. I know I've been on both sides, both on the, the educational side of it and the incarcerated side of it and employed within it. So I know there is no way that anyone should have been able to go within the concepts of his um, 
confidential reports, records, as far as, you know, phone calls to his attorneys, any of that. No one should have been able to record that, but Global Tell Link records it all. But Global Tell Link is not supposed to share confidential information. But it says on its call, this call is being recorded and can be used. So what's up with that? Insufficient evidence in the way that it's presented. That's just like a subpoena. You come in to do a, um, oh, what is it? Um, come in to do a search warrant of a house. You have your writ of subpoena. Well, guess what happens? If you use that information and you do something underhanded and you put something there that's not supposed to be there, or it's the way that you wrote the search in, especially if you see something, search and seizure statements and reports and all that are very crucial to how you write it up. That's why so many people get off on technicalities because of the fact that the subpoena was not written in a certain format, the square. You have to have everything in the square. And right now, the docu-series was not in the square. Confidential information that was being leaked and sold for receipts to someone who could alienate the information before it even started in trial was not within the four squares. So it wasn't, it wasn't fair. It wasn't just, it was biased. It was racist. It was sexist. It was gender based to bring a man down because he believes in love between a man and a woman. He doesn't believe in war. He believes in making love. Make love, not war. And that's what he would be singing right now during this Ukrainian war. Gas price is so expensive. He would be speaking love right now. So I thank you so much for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to this podcast. And I'm putting these out because Sunday is going, May 29th is going to be the live. This is the first time I'm doing a live. So please be patient with me. I will meet you here at 6 p.m. I will do everything I'm supposed to do to get you guys on. And yeah, I'm excited to announce our three winners. And, um, and I'm just excited because it's bringing us together. And that's all it's about. You know, I want to start doing um, meet and greets where I come to your city and we sit down and we ch chill and kick it. You know what I mean? We do fun things. We we connect as a as a collaboration for the Robert Sylvester Kelly R. Kelly Appeal TV. So, um, yeah, I'm going to keep you guys posted on everything that I know that I hear. I just don't deal with the gossip or the drama and the chaos and all this. I just try to do my part as everyone does here on YouTube. And I'm so grateful to all those people who are elaborating and studying and researching on behalf of Robert Sylvester Kelly, because guess what? We're all we have. We're the ones we're waiting for. And if you feel that you can do something different that you see no one else doing on YouTube, please inbox me so I can help you figure out how to start your own channel, how, what are some of the rules and the guidelines that you need to follow um, as far as the laws are concerned with the um, guidelines and you know, copyright issues and things that you just can't say. Because when it all comes down, some people are, they're going to get their channels revoked because of what they've been talking about all this time. And to get them revoked means that they're not going to be able to make any more money on YouTube. And that's sad when you can have a creative outlet such as something like YouTube or Instagram or TikTok 
and you mess that up because you mess it up for the whole time on the channel forever in the in the world of technology and so that just limits you so yeah but there are so many creative things that we can be creating here on the channel and i think i will create um something about how i started my journey in 2006 when I didn't even know how to use a microphone, I was popping the mic, the P's were popping and the T's were topping and it was just crazy. But yeah, if you have an idea, don't just share it with anyone. Don't share it with everyone. Um, and let me help you because I'm a consultant, a business consultant, a legal business consultant with confidentiality clauses and all that, that says that I will not share or reproduce something that has already been produced. I try a, hey, the cr more creative, the better, because that's new money income, new money income and streaming. So yeah. So thank you so much for again, being here with me. Um, we honor you and as always keep it 100 and we'll see you next time.